Are you crazy? Because I know I am, and this is Card Fight Crazy. I am Joey, and in this video, I have a box opening of not GBT03, but BT03. Uh, we are just coming up to G Extra Booster, or G Clan Booster. Yeah, the G Clan Booster for Link Joker, and then GBT13. And I've never opened a box. I don't think I've ever even opened a single pack of Demonic Lord Invasion. Stepping all the way back uh, for the first three sets. This set did not come out third, though, in English. Because English releases were really messed up. I cannot remember the order. But I think one, then two, then four, then three might have been it. Uh, that 82 different cards in the set. Well, where's the information I'm looking for? Uh, five pack or 30 packs, five cards. So back up to the older numbers. Uh, three triple R's, five double R's, 22 single R's. The rest are commons. If we pull an SP, it replaces a triple R. And not a single R as it does nowadays. Okay, I just really want to get into this because, like I said, I'm really excited about this. I've bought, for my Black Friday shopping, I bought several older boxes, five of them, at each under 30 bucks. Uh, BC03 specifically is normally around $75. And. I saw them that I saw them for 30 and below, and I just had to get them because I've always wanted to open one box of every single set in Vanguard. That is my goal. I just want to do that and then have a box opening on the channel of one of every single set, and that's going to be really tough because you got things like GBT01, which are around $130, the two extra boosters, which are still around 100 bucks each. A view of it as it stands, and hmm, I think we got an extra pack on the left side or something here. Here, I'm just gonna count them out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, there was probably an extra pack on the left. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 30 packs in total. And a quick look at the pack. Aichi Sendo with a Dark Irregulars unit that I cannot remember. A Black Void which distorts light, the power of darkness shall consume all in its power. Have. Let me adjust the lighting right there. Hmm. Yeah, there's less of a glare right there. I love the artwork for the set symbol. Just how the way that they announce it. Demonic Lord Invasion. And then the skull here. Booster Pack Volume 3. Card by Vanguard. There's the back. Another unit. I should have looked up what the units are. Oh, well. First pack. Gonna pull an FP in this one right away. No, no, uh, no promotional material on the back. Raging Dragon Spark Saurus. Tachi Kaze Grade One Five K. Choose a card from your hand and discard it. When this unit is put into drop zone from rear guard, you may pay the cost. So you do search your deck for up to one card named Raging Dragon Spark Saurus. Call it to rear guard and shuffle your deck. The Big thing that I'm really looking for here, I would love to pull Tsukuyomi. That's that's the important part. Uh, Knight of Tribulations, Galahad, Royal Pal, and I still see this guy because Jacob still plays him. Won a card named Knight of Godly Speed, Galahad rides this unit, you may soul charge two. At the beginning of your ride phase, look at five cards from the top of your decks for a trip of one card named Knight of Godly Speed, Galahad from among them. Ride it, put the rest on the bottom of your deck in the any order. If you rode, you cannot normal ride during that ride phase. Memory build. 
for Royal Paladins. Faithful Angel. There we go. Grade 2 7k from Oracle Think Tank. Vanguard or Rearguard auto win this unit attacks if the number of Oracle Think Tank in your soul is 6 or more. Draw a card, choose a card from your hand, and put it on the bottom of your deck. Got a heal trigger for Pale Moon, Candy Clown. And first things first, a Triple R from Royal Paladin. Ah, it's Palamedes. Yes, Palamedes also on the back of the pack. Swordsman of the Explosive Flames, Palamedes. Man, Vanguard or Rearguard, when this unit attacks, if the number of Grade 3 Royal Paladin Vanguards and or Rearguards you have is two or more, this unit gets plus 3k until end of battle. You could make so many 20k columns with Palamedes. <laughs> Alright, that's going to be the first Triple R. Of the pack of the box, first pack, not an SP, but a triple R. And Palamedes, I'm happy to see Palamedes again. All right, I take my time. We're already six minutes in, just one pack. Borgol from Royal Paladin, grade one, 6k. Vanguard or Rearguard, continuous during your turn. If the number of other Royal Paladin in your soul is six or more, this unit gets plus 3k. I said other for some reason, but that's not in there. Ah, there's Swordsman of the Blaze Palamedes. Vanguard or Rearguard, when this unit attacks, if the number of grade three Royal Paladin Vanguards and or Rearguards you have is two or more, this unit gets plus 3k until end of battle. So that is exactly what the artwork on the back is. Okay. I didn't actually know that Palamedes had a Grade 2 version. That's just a card that I've never seen. Next, Dragon Dancer Lordis from Kagero, Vanguard or Rearguard. When the unit attacks, the number of Rearguards your opponent has a 2 or less, the unit gets plus 3k until end of battle. Our trigger unit is Rainbow Magician. Pale Moon, when an attack hits during the battle that this unit boosted, you may soul charge one. If you do, return this unit to your deck and shuffle. A draw trigger. I ran a 12 draw Pale Moon for a time back in the day. It was ridiculous. And really fun. And a double R from Tachikaze, a high beast. Artbird! Oh, perfect art. Awesome. Artbird. Choose a Tachikaze from your hand, discard it when this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your Tachikaze that is being attacked and that unit cannot be hit until end of battle. Arc Bird. Oh man. Nice to see. Once again, this is just going to be a uh, nostalgic trip for me. I did not start playing. Uh, I started playing when BTF6 was coming. It was just when Season 2 was kicking into gear. That's when I started playing in English. Uh, but a ton of these cards are still nostalgic for me. Gigantic Dozer. During your turn, if the number of Royal Paladin in your soul is six or more, this unit gets plus 3k. I gotta hold it like that to really get out the glare. There's the Grade 1 Tsukuyomi, Goddess of the Crescent Moon Tsukuyomi, Vanguard at the beginning of your ride phase. Look at five cards from the top of your deck, search for up to one card named Goddess of the Half Moon Tsukuyomi from among them, ride it, put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. If you rode, you cannot normal ride during that ride phase. Next, Karen Roy Daisy, 8k Grade 1 from Dimension Police. The trigger unit is Dynamite Juggler, critical trigger from Pale Moon. And we're still going with the higher rarity cards. Another double R from Royal Paladin, Knight of Godly Speed, Galahad. Like I said, less of a nostalgic trip for me because I still see him with Jacob's uh, Galahad deck. And here we go, Vanguard or Rearguard. If you do not have a card named Knight of Tribulations Galahad, a card named Knight of Quest Galahad, and a card named Drawn Gaul on your soul, this shouldn't get some minus 2k on Vanguard or Rearguard. And Counterblast 2, act from Vanguard only. If the number of Royal Paladin in your soul is 6 or more, this shouldn't get plus 3k, plus 1 crit until end of turn. So that is the second double R. Uh, three higher rarity cards in three packs. I guess I will slide these over to the left right now. Galahad does not want to stay there.
Next up, the Grade 1. Knight of Quests, Galahad. At the beginning of your ride phase, look at five cards. Search for a Knight of Tribulations. Ride it, put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. And if you rode that way, you cannot normal ride during that turn. Mast Police Grander. 8k Grade 2. Dimension Police. When this unit attacks, if you have a Dimension Police Vanguard, your Vanguard gets plus 2k until end of turn. Worker Pod Saturday. A starter. 6k Grade 0. No skill. Dark Irregular Stand Trigger. Dark Queen of Nightmare Land. When an attack hits during the battle that this unit boosted, you may Soul Charge 1. If you do, return this unit to your deck and shuffle. Oh my lord, the higher rarity. We're running out. We are literally running out already. Kagero 10k. Oh man, which one is it? Ah, I don't remember. Dual Axe Arch Dragon. I don't remember this card at all. But we are running out. We are already at three double R's and one triple R. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Vanguard or rear guard when this unit attacks. If the number of rear guards your opponent has a two or less, it gets plus 3k until end of that battle. Okay. I do not remember this card. Now, like I said, I started just around season two. And not... Uh, so not everything in these packs are nostalgic. But a lot of them are. Okay. <laughs> we have four packs, four higher rarity cards. Vacuum Mammoth, a grade two. Tachikaze. All right. Uh, 9K. Vanguard skill. When another of your Tachikaze is placed on rear guard, you may soul charge one. That's like a decadent succubus. Actually, I like decadent succubus. Hungry Clown, Grade 2, 9k. Pale Moon, when this unit attack hits, if you Pale Moon Vanguard, you may Soul Charge 1 from Vanguard or Rear Guard. Nice skill. A Savage Shaman Heal Trigger. Uh, the Heal Trigger came a little... Oh, that's because we get another trigger. We get the crit. And we're finally calming down from all the madness. Going to a single R from OTT, Circle Megas. Uh, when this unit is placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, if you have an OTT Vanguard, look at the top card of your deck, put it back on top of your deck. Okay, so finally a single R. <laughs> okay, okay, so... Four higher rarity cards on the left side. Probably will be four higher rarity cards on the right side, so we will probably not have another one until we get to the right side. Decadent Succubus, there's the card. When another of your Dark Irregulars is placed on Rearguard, you may still charge one if Decadent is the Vanguard. Next we have Prisoner Beast, Grade 1 8k for Dark Irregulars. Blue Rage, Draco Kid, a Flame Dragon, I play him in my Legend deck. A critical Trigger for Kagero. Spiral Master, a draw trigger for Pale Moon. And Godhawk Ichibiyoshi, the beginning of the ride chain for Tsukuyomi. At the beginning of your ride phase, look at five cards. Search for a Goddess of the Crescent Moon. Ride it. Uh, put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. It's up to one, you know. If you've got it in your hand, you can put all five to the bottom. It's up to you. If you rode, you cannot normal ride during that ride phase. Okay, Borgol. I've already seen him. Elephant Juggler. Uh, the Pale Moon Vanguard. When another of your Pale Moon is placed on Rearguard, you may still charge one. Dark Queen of Nightmare Land. Rainbow Magician. And Savage Warrior. So I wonder if they were really all just placed at the bottom. Because I shuffled the packs slightly. I moved not shuffling that, but by counting them, I moved the bottom to the top and the top to the bottom. So, I guess the four higher rarity cards were just at the bottom of the box. Okay, Decadent Succubus, Elephant Juggler, Victory Maker, Draw Trigger for OTT. Cannonball, Stand Trigger for Nova Grappler, and Oracle Guardian, Blue Eye. When this unit boosts, if the number of OTT in your soul is six or more, draw a card, choose a card from your hand, put it on the bottom of your deck. 
a 5k grade one, but a great skill. Up with Tsukuyomi. Going through the deck. A lot less important now. You know, don't need them anymore. It was helpful then. Alright, next pack. Savage Destroyer. Uh, grade 2, 8k, Tachikaze. During your turn, when another of your Tachikaze rearguards is put into the drop zone, this unit gets plus 1k until end of turn. Vanguard rearguard. Dragon Dancer Lordis. Spiral Master. Cursed Doctor, the Darker Regulars Heal Trigger. And Imprisoned Fallen Angel Sarakiel. Sarakiel has Restraint on Vanguard or Rearguard, but an Act Vanguard or Rearguard, Soul Blast 3, and it loses Restraint until end of turn. And a Vanguard only, when this unit is boosted by a Darker Regular, this unit gets plus 5k until end of battle. It is the Grade 2 with 11k for Darker Regulars. Okay, I really think that's what happened with the packs from the bottom to the top and all the higher rarity at once. <laughs> so I will shuffle up the right side. Raging Dragon Sparksaurus. Gigantic Dozer. Dynamite Juggler. Uh, Candy Clown. Heal Trigger for Pale Moon. Don't know if we've seen that one. Next, Toy Royal Paladin, Grade 1, 6k. Vanguard or Rearguard. When this unit boosts, if the number... Why is that a Vanguard skill? I just noticed that now. When this unit boosts, if the number of Grade 3 Royal Paladin Vanguards and or Rearguards you have is 2 or more, this unit gets plus 3k until end of that battle. I wonder if they eroded that. Because they have the list of erratas up for Vanguard, you know, some cards. I wonder if Toypagal was, because that is obviously a misprint. Probably should not be that way. We have Knight of Tribulations, Galahad. Flame Edge Dragon, Vanguard or Rearguard, 9k for Kagero, grade 2. When the shooting attack hits, if you have a Kagero Vanguard, you may Soul Charge 1. Blitz Ritter, crit for darker regulars, Alabaster Owl. And Hades Hypnosist, Pale Moon Perfect Guard. Choose a Pale Moon from your hand and discard it when the student is placed on Guardian Circle. You may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your Pale Moon that's being attacked and it cannot be hit. So that is five of the eight. Okay, so that did not mean that we are going to have four on the left, four on the right. I'm worried that these next two packs are going to be, or these next three packs are going to be all higher rarity again. Prisoner Beast. Grade 1 8k, we saw that already. Oracle Guardian Red Eye. Uh, Vanguard or Rearguard, when the shooting attack hits, if you have an OTT Vanguard, you may Soul Charge 1. The Grade 2 9k. Stand Trigger for Darker Regulars, Hades Puppet Master. Next is Savage Shaman. And yep, we're back to more double R's. March Rabbit of Nightmare Land. That is our fifth and final double R. A perfect guard. This is another box where I got three PGs. That's fine. I like getting perfect guards. Choose a darker regular from hand. Discard it. When the unit is placed on Guardian Circle, you can pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your DI that is being attacked. Cannot be hit. Standard PG skill. Back in these times, everybody with the PG just had that skill. Now, I have three packs on the left. Left. But I'm worried that they just, two of them contain our triple R's, but I, I just go side by side, so the right side is apparently going to get really shafted. <laughs> Vacuum Mammoth. I already covered him. Battle Sister Vanilla. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, if the number of OTT in your soul is six or more, it gains plus 5k shield until the end of that battle. Blitz Ritter. Blu ray Draco Kid. And Drongal, the beginning of the ride chain for Galahad. At the beginning of your ride phase, look at five cards from the top of your deck. Search for a Knight of Quest Galahad from among it. Uh, ride it, and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. If you rode, then you cannot normal ride. Once again, you can put that to the bottom, if not. So, this really comes to the question, do these have the other... I think I just uh, saw it, and I think the answer is no. Galahad, sorry to spoil that. Secretary Angel, 9k grade 3. When the unit attacks, if the number of OTT in your soul is 6 or more, draw a card, choose a card from your hand, and put it on the bottom of the deck. 
from Vanguard or Rearguard, Karen Roy Daisy, Pack Dragon Tiny Rex, Stand Trigger for Tachikaze, and Savage Warrior. Grade 1, 6k during your turn when another Tachikaze Rearguard is put in the drop zone, gains 1k until end of turn. Only 1k then. It'd be 3k at minimum now. I think there is a card that is like that. It's the Engorge one. Yeah. Ah, Poet of Darkness, Amon. Uh, 6k, daring your turn if the number of DI in your soul is 6 or more, the shouldn't gets plus 3. It's a uh, Vanguard or Rearguard skill. Grade 1. Next, a Dark Metal Bicorn, the 8k grade 1 for Pale Moon. Worker Pod Saturday. Black Cannon Tiger, Tachik has a critical trigger. When an attack hits during the battle that this unit boosted, you may pay the cost if you do. Uh, so uh, <laughs> yes, uh, the p cost of Soul Charging 1. Don't know why that tripped me up so much. If you do, return this unit to your deck and shuffle your deck. Death Army Guy, Grade 1 7k from Nova Grappler. When you drive check a Grade 3 Nova Grappler, stand Death Army Guy. Okay, I am still going to give a shuffle to these packs. So I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit, try to make it better, so that way not everything is front-loaded like it was. I mean, I might have just shuffled them to being front-loaded. Next, I think I think that's the Counterblast 2 and Retire Bucket Regular unit? I am not sure at all. Hey! Palamedes Grade 2, Faithful Angel, Cannonball, Blue Ray Jacko Kid, and Vermilion Gatekeeper Starter. When another DI rides this unit, you may Soul Charge 1. Simple, but effective. Next. We have Gigantic Dozer. Flame Edge Dragon, Cursed Doctor, Rainbow Magician, and Bloody Calf. Counter Blast 2 when the shooting is placed on Vanguard or Rear Guard. If you have a DI Vanguard, choose one of your opponent's Grade 1 or less Rear Guards and retire at Grade 1 7K. Retiring. Next pack. Knight of Quest Galahad, Battle Sister Vanilla, Herbivore Dragon Brutosaurus, a draw trigger for Tachikaze. Then we have Dynamite Juggler, and Alluring Succubus. Grade 1, when this unit is placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, if you have a DI Vanguard, you may still charge 1. Once again, simple, but effective. Pack. Raging Dragon Sparksaurus, Goddess of Crescent Moon Tsukuyomi, Karen Roy Daisy, Victory Maker, and Imprisoned Fallen Angel Sarakiel. That is the first repeat rare. Yes. And it's the first repeat rare. One Poet of Darkness Among Decadent Succubus Flame Edge Dragon Candy Clown and Skull Juggler Pale Moon Grade 1 7 gay. When this unit is placed on Vanguard or Rear Guard, if you have a Pale Moon Vanguard, you may soul charge one. Uh, so do I have to keep going with simple but effective? I guess that's the tagline for a Soul Charge 1. Savage Destroyer. Yeah, we covered him. Dark Metal Bicorn. Oracle Guardian Red Eye. Into Cursed Doctor. Triple R Nova Grappler. Ultimate Life Form Cosmo Lord. <laughs> Act. Choose one of your Nova Grappler Rear Guards. Nova Grappler. Choose one of your Nova Grappler rear guards and rest it. The Shinna gains plus 3k until end of turn. That is not a once per turn effect. 
So fill your field up with death armies, rest them all, and drive check a grade 3. Do it. Uh, not... Mm, Palamedes is cool because history. Uh, Cosmo Lord is a card I completely forgotten about. Cool to see him to get him back, but like I said, if I could just pull a Tsukuyomi, that would be awesome. Just for the feelings, just for uh, value. If it was the grade 2 one. Uh, and more importantly, because I love, love Tsukuyomi. Savage Destroyer, Hungry Clown, Goddess of Crescent Moon, Tsukuyomi, Dark Queen of Nightmare Land, and Hades Ringmaster. When another Pale Moon rides this unit, you may Soul Charge 1. Uh, simple but effective. I guess I gotta keep that going. Rider Call. Get to Soul Charge 1. Dark Metal Bicorn. Master Police Grander. Water Pod Saturday. Dynamite Juggler. And Barking Cerberus. 10k Grade 2 for Pale Moon. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs left. I'm hoping the triple R just stays at the bottom. That does not pop up yet. Elephant Juggler, Battle Sister Vanilla, Hades Puppet Master, Pack Dragon Tiny Rex, and Midnight Bunny. This is a, this is a good card. Uh, Counterblast 1 from Rearguard, Grade 1, 7k. Counterblast 1 and put Midnight Bunny into the soul. When an attack hits during the battle, that Midnight Bunny boosted. If you have a Pale Moon Vanguard, you may pay the cost. Choose a card, Pale Moon, other than Midnight Bunny from your soul. Call it to Rearguard. Nice unit. I'm going to get that bag. That, that also brings up memories. Uh, what do I even play? Out of this, what do we got? Royal Paladins? I play Royal Paladins with Blaster and Alfred Legion. Don't play Tachikaze. Don't play Pale Moon. Play Dark Irregulars, but I'm switching mine. Actually, it's perfect timing that I got this, because I'm actually deciding to switch mine back to a more classic Break Ride Amon Reverse deck. So not a classic classic, but a Break Ride era one. Uh, and... Hmm... Yeah, that's... Uh, OTT, of course I play OTT out of the pack, out of this box. Uh, Borgol, Secretary Angel, Cannonball, Black Cannon Tiger, and Barking Cerberus. Cerberus, Barking Cerberus, another repeat rare. That is only our second repeat rare. One DI, one Pale Moon, Elephant Juggler. Decadent Succubus, Secretary Angel, Herbivorous, Dragon Brutosaurus, Triple R, 11K Noble, Oracle Think Tank, Goddess of the Full Moon, Tsukuyomi. Very nice to see Goddess of the Full Moon. Vanguard or Rearguard, if you do not have Goddess of the Half Moon Tsukuyomi, Goddess of the Crescent Moon Tsukuyomi, and God Hawk Ichibiyoshi in your soul, gets minus 2k. Then act Counterblast 2, if the number of OTT in your soul is 6 or more, draw a card, choose a card from your hand, and put it into your soul. Well, we got 4 packs left, can we get any uh, factory error? Miss shenanigans? You know, I was wondering that at the beginning when we got four straight higher rarity cards, but Gigantic Dozer, Gigantic Lordos, Blitz Ritter, Blue Ray Draco Kid, and Bloody Calf. I didn't want to say it because I did not think it was happening, you know. Just gotta check. If we had pulled like six double R's, that would have been awesome. Or an SP as well. Hungry Clown. Faithful Angel, Spiral Master, Dark Queen of Nightmare Land, Turquoise Beast Tamer. Uh, during your turn, if you have a card named Crimson Beast Tamer in your soul, it gets plus 3k. From Vanguard to Rearguard, Grade 1, 6k becomes a 9k. Okay. Two packs left, two rares to see. Which ones will they be? Well, hey. Hey. 
go. Sometimes the packs just don't want to cooperate. Borgal, Mass Police Grander, Pack Dragon Tiny Rex, Rainbow Magician, and Demon of Aspiration Amon. Okay, during your turn, if the number of darker regulars in your soul is six or more, this unit gets plus 3k. Vanguard or rear guard. This is something that I also forgot. It's yeah, it's the uh Amon rising through the ranks, going from a grade one to a grade two. And then having grade three. Now, did the grade three Amon come out in this one? It wasn't a limit break unit. No, it was not a limit break unit. So did it also come out in this set? I think so. Hmm. I should I should have looked up what was in this before I did it, but oh well. Knight of Quest Galahad, Oracle Guardian, Red Eye, Hades Puppet Master, Black Cannon Tiger, and the last card of my GB, not GB, wow, my BTO3 Demonic Lord Invasion Booster Box opening is Alluring Succubus. <laughs> Simple, but effective. I've been Joey, and let's quickly go through the cards. Alluring Succubus, Demon of Aspiration Amon, Turquoise Beast Tamer, Bloody Calf, Barking Cerberus, Midnight Bunny, Another Bloody Calf, Hades Ringmaster, Skull Juggler, Imprisoned Fallen Angel Sorakiel, Another Alluring Succubus, Another Bloody Calf, a Vermilion Gatekeeper, Death Army Guy, Savage Warrior, Drangol, Toypagol, Imprisoned Fallen Angel Sorakiel, Number 2, Oracle Guardian, Blue Eye, Savage Warrior, Godhawk Ichibiyoshi, Circle Megas, Our Double R's, <laughs> Dual Axe, Arch Dragon, Knight of Godly Speed, Galahad, March Rabbit of Nightmare Land, Hades Hypnotist, and Archbird. And last but not least, the three Triple R's of the box Ultimate Life Form, Cosmo Lord, Swordsman of the Explosive Flames, Palamedes, and Goddess of the Full Moon, Tsukuyomi. I'm Joey. This is Card Fight Crazy. Hope you're crazy too.